Hello, in this video I will show you how to implement the object highlight in Unreal Engine 5. You can for example use this effect to highlight the hit enemies with the red color, as you can see on the right side. For comparison, you can also check how it looks like without this effect on the left side. This effect can also be used for simply highlighting the items when you point at them, as you can see on these videos. I will demonstrate how to do this effect in our tutorial game, but you can use the very same code in your own game. This highlight effect is based on the material, so at first we have to open the object which you want to highlight and check the material for the uh, visible part of the object. Here in our tutorial game we are opening the base item class and we have the paper flipbook object here which we want to make a highlight, so let's check the material of this object. We will find the materials section on the right menu and click on the browse to icon. This will select the material instance used in the object. We want to open this material instance and uh, check the hierarchy uh, to find out the parent of this material instance. Here we again want to click on the browse asset icon so we can find out where the material is stored so we can copy it and edit it. We will find out the folder where we want to store this material and uh, we will drag and drop it there and choose the copy here. That's important. If you move it there, it will be moved from your Unreal Engine and uh, things will start breaking up. We should also rename this material so we can orient in our project and uh, we can name it M underscore selectable sprite material. Let's open that material and we can start adding the glow feature there. The first thing we will change is the blend mode and we will set it from mask to translucent because that's what we use in our tutorial game to make the Z ordering of sprites correct. Then we will start adding the parameters for our material. We will have two parameters and the first one will be the glow color. So let's search for the parameter and uh, find the vector parameter and add it there. We will use the glow color also as a name for this parameter and uh, we will set the default value to the color white. For the second parameter we will use this color parameter action and uh, we will name it glow intensity and it will simply define how intensive our glow is. To make the glow effect we will draw a line from the glow color and add the multiply action and connect the glow intensity to the multiply. We have to combine this glow color with color coming from the source texture. To do that we will draw a line from the multiply coming from the source texture and add the add function. And we will connect the other multiply as a B input to that add function. Of course the output of the add function has to be connected to the emissive color. Now we have to click the apply button and we can start playing with the parameters to see how they look like. So we can for example try increasing the glow intensity. And we can see that if we increase the glow intensity the object is highlighted and that's exactly what we want. So in the end we have to keep the glow intensity set to zero and we can start changing these parameters uh, from the code. But before doing that we should create the material instance. So let's right click on the sprite material and click on the create material instance and uh, we can name this new material instance as M selectable sprite material instance. Then we have to open the base item or any other actor we want to make a highlight and we will set the material there. So let's go to the materials and uh, search for our selectable sprite material and uh, set it. Next we want to set the glow intensity to some number when the player points to the item and uh, when it's not pointing to the item we want to set it back to zero. We already have two events here to do that, the pointed at and the not pointed at events. If you want to find out how to create those events, please check the video on the screen. We will use the not pointed at event and search for the set scalar parameter value on materials from the paper flipbook. This will allow us to set the glow intensity parameter to zero when the user is not pointing at the item. So simply set the parameter name to glow intensity. It has to be the exact same value as we used in the material for the name of this parameter. We can now copy paste this code and call it from the event pointed at. And for uh, this event we will use the glow parameter value to uh, for example number one. We can now run the game and we can see that the glow is probably too bright. So let's go back and uh, play with the value a little bit more to find out the intensity which looks good. After a few tests I found out that the number 0.3 looks good to me, so uh, this is how the game looks like with this number. We can use this material and code for any actor in the game we want to highlight, for example also the skeleton corpses. It's the very same process we used for the base item, but now we are using that in the base enemy, so I will fast forward that. But basically we will copy paste those two set scalar parameters from the base item class, call it from the pointed at and the not pointed at functions and uh, set the material to the uh, selectable sprite material. If we want to highlight just the enemy corpses and uh, not the enemies when they are alive, uh, we have to add the branch for it. So 
you can do that but it depends on your personal taste so we can test the game and if we did everything right we should be able to highlight the enemy corpse when the enemy is killed and you can see that it works correctly the last thing i want to show you is how to highlight the enemy with the red color when we hit it for that we just need a function which is executed when the enemy takes a damage and we have created such function in our previous videos so you can check it but uh, it's uh, optional you can just uh, use whatever you have in your game so we will open our take damage function in our base enemy actor and uh, we will add new code there so let's make space for it at first we want to set the glow color parameter to red color so we will get the paper flipbook and search for the set vector parameters value on materials and add it there the parameter name has to be set to glow color and it has to be the exact same name as we have in our material parameter and for the parameter value it's like rgb so we will set the x to 1 because we want to use a red so the red part should be the maximum value now we also need to set the glow intensity to some non-zero value so let's make some space there and copy paste the paper flipbook as we did before we will simply search for the set color parameter value on materials action and add it there we are changing the glow intensity so we have to change the parameter name to glow intensity and uh, we will use again the 0.3 as a value let's ensure that all the nodes are called and we can try playing the game now we can see that if we hit the enemy the red color is there but it never disappears so we have to find a way how to do that i think the best way how to do it is using timers so let's draw a line from the set scalar parameter value on materials and search for the set timer by function name this action will start new timer which will call some function after some time so for the function name we will for example use the reset glow name and we will create the function with this name later but at first let's copy the set parameter value actions so we can paste them into the new function now we will create this new function and uh, we will call it reset uh, glow and we will simply paste those uh, set parameters value there we want to reset the parameters so let's switch back the glow color to number 111 which is the white color and also the uh, glow intensity to zero and ensure everything is connected let's go back to the take damage and we also have to set the time for the timer from the 0 to 0 0.3 which might be a good time for the glow and let's test it out and if we hit an enemy we can see that it glows red for some time and then switches back to normal color so this is all for this episode and in the next one we will learn how to rotate character with a mouse this will make the attacks much easier because we can always point to the enemy the right direction and it will also allow us to go back first and still attack which is cool feature please drop a like and subscribe if you like this video and uh, see you next time bye